Namaste, lovely souls, and welcome back to Artist at Living, our little corner on YouTube where we dive into life's mysteries and find the magic in the moments we often overlook. Today, we're diving into a topic that's close to the heart, awakening to inner peace during the quiet hours of the early morning. Waking up at 3 a.m. might seem like just another part of the night, but it holds profound opportunities for finding tranquility within ourselves. Join me on this journey as we explore how these serene moments can bring peace and happiness into our lives. Ever woken up exactly at 3 a.m. and wondered why? What if I told you these early wake-up calls might be the universe trying to tell you something special? Imagine, in the quiet of the night, there could be a secret message just for you. Isn't that an interesting thought to explore? This special time of night is more than just a pause in our sleep. It's a chance to connect with something bigger than us, maybe even to understand ourselves a little better. You see, when everything else is still, our thoughts and feelings can speak a bit louder. There's so much we can learn from listening to them. But what's really behind these early morning wake-up calls? We're going to look at this from all angles, including what Buddha and other wise folks have said about such moments. We'll explore how these times can help heal our minds, spark our creativity, and even make us feel more alive during the day. Imagine using those quiet hours to grow, to heal, and to find new paths in life. Whether it's learning to calm your mind, finding the spark for a new idea, or just feeling more at peace, there's a treasure trove of benefits waiting for us in the silence of the early morning. So, if you've ever found yourself staring at the ceiling at 3 a.m., or if you're just curious about the deeper meanings in life, stick around. This isn't just about decoding why we wake up, it's about using those moments to enrich our lives. We're here to show you how to turn those quiet whispers of the night into loud and clear messages that can guide you, heal you, and maybe even change you. And hey, if you find yourself nodding along or having an aha moment while watching, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Artist at Living. Your support means we can keep bringing you more insights and stories that light up every day with a touch of the extraordinary. Get ready to take a gentle journey into the night to uncover the gifts it holds. Together, we'll find out why the universe seems to nudge us awake at 3 a.m. and how those moments can be the key to a fuller, richer life. Let's turn the silence of the night into a powerful ally on our path to discovery and joy. First, the sacred hour of transformation. Have you ever noticed how the world feels different at 3 a.m.? This isn't just any time of night. It's a magical moment where something special happens. When everyone else is sleeping and everything is quiet, this hour offers us a unique chance to connect with ourselves and the world around us. Think of this time as a secret meeting place between you and the universe. It's so quiet you can almost hear your own heartbeat, and in this silence, your thoughts and feelings get a chance to speak up. Imagine being able to listen to your inner self more clearly, finding answers to questions you didn't even know you were asking. That's the gift of this transformational hour. Many people and traditions from all over the world have always known there's something special about this time. They believe it is a moment when the sky and the earth come closer together, making it easier for us to feel connected to something bigger than ourselves. It's like the universe has opened a door, and if we're awake, we can choose to walk through it. Why does 3 a.m. feel like this? A lot of it has to do with how our bodies naturally work. Around this time, we are often in a deep sleep, which means our minds aren't as busy as they are during the day. This makes it a perfect time for thinking creatively, feeling more at peace, and even finding deep rest that helps heal our hearts and minds. The quiet of 3 a.m. does more than just make us feel calm. It helps wash away the worries and stress of the day. It's like getting a fresh start while the rest of the world is still paused. This quiet time can help us find balance, 
and get ready to face a new day with a smile. If you find yourself awake at this hour, see it as a special chance to spend time with yourself. Whether you choose to meditate, think quietly, or just sit and enjoy the silence, this is your time to recharge and reflect. It's a moment to ask yourself big questions like what makes you happy, what you're thankful for, and what you're ready to let go of. This hour is also amazing for anyone who loves to create. With no distractions, your creative side can come out to play, leading to some of your best ideas. It's a reminder that sometimes we need to step away from the noise to truly hear our own voice. By being mindful during this hour, whether fully awake or just in a state of restful awareness, we can use this time to grow. Paying attention to now, to our breathing and to how we feel can make us more peaceful. And when we carry this peace into our day, everything seems a bit brighter and easier to handle. Even if you're usually asleep during this hour, you can still be part of its magic. Before you go to bed, think about opening up to the peaceful energy of the night. This intention can influence your sleep in beautiful ways, bringing you dreams and rest that nourish your soul. So, if the night calls to you at 3 a.m., don't think of it as losing sleep. Think of it as gaining a moment of peace, a time for healing, and a chance to grow. It's an invitation from the universe to pause and find something beautiful in the quiet. This is your time to reset, to be grateful for the silence, and to get ready for whatever comes next with a fresh perspective. Remember, the next time you're awake in the early hours, it's not a bother. It's a special hour full of promise and possibility. Welcome it with an open heart and let it fill you with peace and insight. Second, awakening to inner peace. Waking up at 3 ox a.m. might seem like just another part of the night, but it can actually be a special time for finding peace inside ourselves. When everything is quiet and it feels like the whole world is asleep, we have a unique chance to listen to our own thoughts and feelings more closely. Let's explore how this quiet time can help us feel more at peace and happy inside. First off, think about how peaceful it feels when there's no noise and you're all by yourself. This quiet time is perfect for just being with your thoughts, kind of like having a quiet chat with yourself. It's a chance to take a break from the busy day and enjoy the calm. This calmness is the first step to feeling peaceful inside. During these early hours, our minds start to slow down. We're not thinking about a million things at once anymore. This is a great time to practice being mindful, which means paying attention to our thoughts and feelings without getting upset or wishing they were different. Just noticing and being okay with whatever is going on inside us can make us feel more at peace. This quiet time is also perfect for thinking about what we're thankful for. It could be anything from a cozy bed to a good friend. When we focus on the good things in our lives, we start to feel happier and more content. It's like finding little treasures in our day that make us smile. Many people find that praying or meditating during this time feels really special. Whether you're sitting quietly, focusing on your breath, or saying a prayer, these moments can help you feel more connected to yourself and even to the bigger world around you. It's a peaceful feeling that can make the rest of your day better. Forgiving people who have upset us can also make us feel more at peace. It's not always easy, but when everything is quiet, we might find it in our hearts to let go of some of that hurt. Forgiving doesn't mean forgetting. It just means choosing to not let those feelings control us anymore. Spending time by ourselves can also teach us a lot about who we are. It's a chance to get to know ourselves better and enjoy our own company. Finding peace in being alone is a big step toward feeling good about ourselves and our lives. Doing some deep breathing or gentle stretches can help our bodies relax too. 
When our bodies feel calm and rested, it's easier for our minds to feel peaceful as well. It's like giving ourselves a mini break to recharge and get ready for the day ahead. Accepting things as they are can also help us find peace. Sometimes we get upset because things aren't going how we want them to, but if we can learn to be okay with how things are, even just for a moment, we might find a surprising sense of calm. Bringing the peace we find in the early morning into our day is a really important step. It means trying to keep that calm feeling even when things get busy or stressful. It's like carrying a little bit of that quiet with us all day long. Remember, finding peace is a journey. Every morning gives us a new chance to practice and get a little better at it. It's not about being perfect. It's about trying and finding what works for us. So, the next time you find yourself awake at 3 wires a.m., see it as a special opportunity. It's a quiet time for you to relax, think, and maybe find a little peace that you can take into your day. It's a gentle reminder that even in the quietest moments, there's something beautiful waiting for us. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Artist at Living channel. Third, the body's clock and spiritual awakening. In the quiet moments just before the sun rises, there's a special time that feels different from the rest of the day. This time around 3 a.m. is not just for sleep. It's a moment when our bodies and minds can connect deeply with something peaceful and powerful. Let's find out how this early hour can help us feel more awake inside. Not just awake from sleep, but awake to life and all its wonders. Our bodies have a natural rhythm, like an internal clock that tells us when to sleep and when to wake up. This clock helps us feel sleepy when it's dark and more awake when there's light. But during the early hours, even though it's still dark, something special happens. Our body is relaxed and our mind is clear, making it a perfect time for thinking deeply or even praying. When the world is so quiet, we can hear our own thoughts and feelings much clearer. It's as if all the hustle and bustle of daily life pauses and we get a chance to listen to what's going on inside us. This quiet time is a gift, a chance to really understand ourselves and feel close to the peaceful part of us that's always there, waiting to be noticed. Many wise people and teachings from long ago tell us this early morning time is precious for connecting with our deeper selves and even with a greater sense of the world around us. They woke up early to meditate, pray, or just sit quietly, feeling the peace of the early morning. It seems like they knew something important that this time has a special power to make our spirit feel alive. Starting our day with some quiet thinking or a moment of gratitude can make the whole day feel brighter and more positive. It's like planting a seed of happiness that grows throughout the day. Even just a few minutes of feeling thankful or setting a good intention for the day can make a big difference in how we feel. But it's also important to listen to our bodies. If we're really tired, it might be a sign we need more rest. Finding a balance between waking up early for some quiet time and getting enough sleep is key to feeling good both inside and out. This early morning time can also help us learn a lot about ourselves. With everything so quiet, we might find answers to questions we've been asking or feel the sense of peace we've been looking for. It's a powerful time for personal discovery and feeling at peace with who we are. Doing something calming, like breathing deeply or stretching gently, can also help our bodies feel relaxed and ready for the day. When our bodies feel calm, our minds do too. This harmony between body and mind is what helps us feel truly at peace. Accepting things as they are and not as we wish they were is another lesson this quiet time teaches us. Sometimes things in life don't go as planned, and that's okay. Learning to be okay with how things are can help us feel more peaceful and less worried. Carrying the peace of the early morning into the rest of our day is a beautiful way to live. 
Imagine feeling that calm and quiet inside. Even when the day gets busy, it's like having a secret source of strength and peace that helps us handle whatever comes our way. Remember, waking up to this special time is about more than just getting out of bed. It's about waking up to life, to the beauty in the world, and to the peace inside us. Each morning is a new chance to feel connected, peaceful, and truly alive. So, the next time you find yourself awake in the early hours, Think of it as a special invitation. It's a quiet moment for you to enjoy, to think, and to maybe discover something wonderful about yourself and the world. It's a peaceful time just for you, a chance to start your day feeling refreshed and ready for anything. And if this message resonates with you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Artist at Living channel. Fourth, the gateway to enhanced intuition and creativity. In the early hours when the world is quiet and most people are still asleep, there's a special time that's perfect for thinking and dreaming. Around 3 hours a.m., everything is so peaceful that it's easier for us to listen to our own thoughts and feelings. This quiet time can be a treasure chest for finding our inner voice and sparking our imagination. Let's dive into how this peaceful time can help us become more intuitive and creative. First, think about how calm it feels when there's no noise around. This quiet helps us calm down our busy minds too. It's like the quiet outside helps us find the quiet inside, where our best ideas and gut feelings live. When it's this quiet, we can really hear what our inner voice is trying to tell us, giving us clues about what we really think and feel. Our gut feelings, or intuition, seem to get stronger during these quiet hours. It's as if the part of our brain that works on solving puzzles while we sleep gets a chance to share its secrets with us. Sometimes the answers to things we've been wondering about just pop into our heads, clear and bright, even before we're fully awake. Creativity loves quiet moments too. With no distractions, our minds can wander and explore new ideas without hitting any walls. It's a time when we can dream up new things, think in new ways, and let our imaginations run wild. Many famous artists and writers have said that their best ideas came to them in the quiet of the early morning. This quiet time also lets us focus in a different way, a more open and free way. Instead of focusing hard on one thing, we let our minds drift and connect dots we didn't even see before. This can lead to amazing ideas and solutions we wouldn't find during a busy day. Being alone with our thoughts in these quiet hours can be really good for us. It's a chance to get to know ourselves better, to understand what we really want and dream about. This deep understanding can inspire us to make things that truly reflect who we are inside. Writing down our thoughts or doodling in a notebook can catch these early morning ideas before they float away. Keeping a journal or sketch pad by the bed is a great way to remember these insights and use them in our day-to-day -day life. Using this time for quiet thinking can also help us grow. The more we listen to our intuition and let our creativity flow, the more open and trusting we become of our own ideas. This isn't just good for making art or writing stories. It's good for feeling confident and happy in our lives. Making a habit of waking up early for some quiet time can make us feel more balanced and happy. It's like we're tuning our day to start with a peaceful note, which can make everything else go smoother. Feeling connected to the bigger world around us can also spark our creativity. In the early morning quiet, we might feel a part of something larger than ourselves, filled with beauty and mystery. This feeling can be a powerful muse, inspiring us to create and share our visions. Lastly, embracing the early hours as a special time for thinking and dreaming teaches us to cherish every moment. It shows us that time is not just something to be filled with tasks, but a space for exploring, dreaming, and becoming who we want to be. The early morning, with its peace and quiet, 
is waiting for us to discover its gifts. It's a time for listening to our hearts, dreaming big and finding the creative sparks that light up our lives. So the next time you find yourself awake while the world sleeps, remember it's a perfect moment to explore the wonders of your own mind and heart. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Artist at Living channel. Fifth, navigating the shadow self. In the early hours when everything is still and quiet, we get a special chance to meet a part of ourselves that we usually don't pay much attention to. This part is called the shadow self. It's like a secret room inside us where we keep all the stuff we're not too proud of, our fears, mistakes, and the parts of us we might not like very much. But getting to know this shadow self can really help us grow and find peace inside. Let's look at how the peaceful morning time can be our ally in getting to know and accepting our shadow self. When it's super quiet in the early morning, it's easier to hear the whispers of our shadow self. This is when the thoughts and feelings we usually push to the back of our minds can come out. It's like they're saying, hey, pay attention to me for a bit. This time is perfect for listening and seeing these hidden parts without being too hard on ourselves. Realizing that we all have a shadow self helps us see ourselves more completely. By noticing these hidden parts, we start to understand why we do certain things or feel certain ways. It's like turning on a light in a dark room. Things become clearer and we can start finding our way through. The early morning when we're alone and it's quiet gives us a safe space to think about these things. We can be honest with ourselves because no one else is around to judge us. This quiet time is a gift, letting us be real in a way that's hard to do during the busy day. Being kind to ourselves during this time is super important. It's about talking to ourselves nicely, understanding that everyone has parts of themselves they're working on. It's like being a good friend to yourself, offering encouragement and support. Writing in a journal can really help during this process. Putting our thoughts and feelings on paper can make them easier to understand. It's a way to get all those jumbled thoughts out of our head and into the open, where we can deal with them better. Practicing meditation or just sitting quietly helps too. It allows us to see our shadow self without getting upset or scared by it. These practices teach us to watch our thoughts and feelings from a distance, giving us the space to understand them without getting caught up in them. Getting to know our shadow self can show us why we feel scared or insecure sometimes. It's like finding the source of a river. Once you know where it starts, you can understand where it's going and why. This can help us deal with our fears more directly. This process can also lead to forgiving ourselves and others. When we understand the pain or fear behind what we or they have done, it becomes easier to let go of hard feelings. Forgiveness is a big step in healing and moving on. Accepting our shadow self can make us feel stronger and more complete. It means saying yes to our whole self, even the parts we're not super proud of. This acceptance brings a sense of freedom and self-respect that's really powerful. Sharing what we learn about ourselves with others can be inspiring. It shows that it's okay to be working on ourselves and it can give others the courage to do the same. Every morning gives us a new chance to connect with our shadow self. It's a journey that takes patience and courage, but leads to a more peaceful and honest life. By facing the parts of ourselves we usually hide, we open the door to a deeper understanding and a happier heart. The quiet of the early morning is a perfect time to explore and accept our shadow self. It's a journey that helps us see ourselves in a new light, leading to greater self-awareness, healing and a peaceful heart. So, the next time you find yourself awake while the world is still sleeping, Remember, it's a special opportunity to discover the hidden treasures within you. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Artist at Living channel. Sixth, 
the healing power of silence and stillness. In our busy lives, finding a quiet moment can feel like discovering a hidden gem. These peaceful times, especially in the early hours or whenever we can grab a moment of quiet, have a special power to heal and calm us. Let's dive into how simply being quiet and still can do wonders for us inside and out. Think about how it feels when you stop and just listen to the quiet. Your mind, which is usually running a mile a minute, starts to slow down. It's like giving your brain a cozy blanket and saying, it's okay to rest now. This quiet time helps us shake off stress and feel more at ease, like our worries are melting away, leaving us feeling lighter and more peaceful. Being still goes hand in hand with enjoying the quiet. When we pause and sit quietly, our bodies get the message that it's time to relax. This can help our hearts beat more slowly and our breathing to deepen, which makes us feel calm and rooted, like a tree standing strong in the earth. In these quiet moments, we often find that we can see things more clearly. It's as though the world comes into focus and we can think about things in a new way. This clarity is super helpful, whether we're trying to solve a problem or just figuring out how we feel about something. Silence and stillness also help us connect with who we really are. Without all the noise and hustle, we can hear our own thoughts and feelings more clearly. This is a chance to really get to know ourselves, to understand what makes us happy, what we dream about, and what we want more of in our lives. These peaceful moments can also be a healing balm for our emotions. Giving ourselves space to feel quiet and still is like creating a safe little bubble where we can let our feelings out, understand them, and start to feel okay again. It's a powerful way to heal our hearts and find our inner strength. Being mindful or paying attention to the present moment works really well in silence and stillness. This can make us appreciate the little things more, like the warmth of a cup of tea or the softness of our favorite blanket. It teaches us to find joy in the here and now, which is pretty amazing. Believe it or not, Finding time for quiet and stillness can even help us sleep better. After spending some time in peace during the day, we might find it easier to drift off at night and enjoy a good night's sleep. And we all know how great it feels to wake up feeling refreshed and ready for the day. For those of us looking for a deeper spiritual connection, these quiet times can be very special. Whether it's through prayer, meditation, or just sitting and feeling grateful, being still and quiet can make us feel closer to something bigger than ourselves, offering comfort and a sense of peace. Making a habit of seeking out moments of silence and stillness can also make us better at handling stress. It's like building up a shield that helps us stay calm and strong, no matter what comes our way. The more we practice, the better we get at finding peace in the midst of chaos. Lastly, embracing the quiet teaches us to love simplicity. In a world that's always shouting for our attention, choosing to be still and quiet is a powerful act of self-care. It shows us that sometimes the simplest moments can be the most beautiful and fulfilling. Finding the healing power of silence and stillness is something we can all do. It doesn't require anything special, just a moment to pause, breathe and be. It's a journey toward feeling more at peace, more connected and happier in our daily lives. So, the next time you find a quiet moment, remember it's a chance to heal, grow and enjoy the simple beauty of being alive. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Artist at Living channel. Seven. Cultivating Compassion in the Quiet Hours In the early morning, when everything is quiet and the day hasn't started rushing by yet, we have a special chance to cultivate something really important inside us. Compassion. Compassion is when we understand and care about other people's feelings and troubles. The quiet time in the morning is perfect for thinking deeply and finding ways to be kinder to others and ourselves. 
Let's explore how we can use these peaceful moments to fill our hearts with more love and care. Reflection and self-understanding. The quiet helps us think about our own lives deeply. It's like sitting down with a good friend who genuinely wants to know how we're feeling. This introspection is crucial because when we understand our own ups and downs, we start to see that everyone else experiences similar emotions. This realization is where compassion begins. Empathy and putting ourselves in others' shoes. During these quiet moments, we can also spend time thinking about other people, our friends, family, or even someone we read about who is going through a tough time. By imagining what it's like to be in their shoes and feeling what they feel, we take a significant step in growing our compassion. It helps us see the world from someone else's perspective. Meditation and prayer for kindness. Using this quiet time for meditation or prayer focused on kindness can profoundly enhance our compassion. Practices that involve sending good thoughts and wishes to others help us start the day by filling our hearts with warmth and positivity, which we can then share with those around us. Journaling to strengthen compassion. Writing in a journal about things that make us feel thankful or stories that touch our hearts can make our compassion stronger. Expressing our feelings in words helps us understand them better and think about practical ways to show more kindness in our everyday interactions. Setting kind goals for the day. In the morning quiet, we can set small goals focused on kindness. It could be as simple as giving a compliment, offering help to someone in need, or just smiling at people we encounter. These acts plant seeds of happiness that can brighten someone's day and contribute positively to our community. Gratitude as a gateway to compassion. Feeling thankful for what we have is a significant component of compassion. When we practice gratitude, we become more attuned to the needs of others and are motivated to take action to help them. Gratitude opens our eyes to the world around us and our role in making it a better place. Forgiveness and lightning. Our hearts. Forgiving others and ourselves is an act of kindness that lightens our hearts. Letting go of hurt feelings and embracing forgiveness brings us peace and readiness to fill our hearts with more love and compassion. Listening and feeling connected. Just listening to the world around us in the early morning teaches us about compassion. Whether it's the sounds of nature waking up or the quiet breathing of loved ones sleeping, listening fosters a sense of connection to everything. This connection inspires us to care for others and the world we all share. Generating kind ideas without distraction. The quiet morning hours free from distractions allow us to brainstorm ideas on how to help others. Whether it's reaching out to a lonely friend or finding opportunities to volunteer, this is a time to think creatively about bringing more kindness into the world. Patience and growth in compassion. Lastly, learning to be patient with ourselves and others is a crucial lesson in compassion. Just like plants need time to grow, our compassion develops gradually. The morning quiet reminds us that it's okay to take small steps and continue striving to be kinder every day. Embracing the early morning as a time for cultivating compassion enriches our lives and those around us. It prepares us to spread kindness throughout the day, making the world a brighter place for everyone. So. The next time you find yourself awake in the early morning, think of it as a special chance to fill up on compassion and readiness to spread kindness in all that you do. Imagine how much brighter the world could be if we all embraced this practice. And if this resonates with you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Artist at Living channel for more insights on living with compassion and mindfulness. Eighth, the path of mindful living. Living mindfully means savoring every moment of now 
whether it's appreciating the sweetness of a strawberry or the sensation of soft grass underfoot. It's about being fully present, without dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. Let's explore how we can brighten each day by embracing mindfulness in our daily lives. Starting the day mindfully. Begin your day by focusing completely on each task, no matter how routine. Feel the cool water as you wash your face or savor each flavor as you eat breakfast. This simple act of awareness helps us cherish the little things we often overlook. Deep listening. When conversing with others, practice deep listening. Pay attention to every word without thinking about your response. This demonstrates care and strengthens relationships, offering the gift of our full attention to those we interact with. Gratitude practice. Each morning, reflect on a few things you're grateful for. It could be as basic as a comfortable bed or a sunny day. Cultivating gratitude helps us recognize the abundance of positivity in our lives, fostering happiness and contentment. Acknowledging emotions. Mindful living involves acknowledging our emotions without letting them overwhelm us. Just as clouds pass across the sky, emotions come and go. This awareness helps us remain calm and prevents us from being consumed by worries or stress. Mindful eating. Eating mindfully turns meals into a pleasurable experience. Eat slowly, savoring each bite, which not only enhances enjoyment, but also encourages us to listen to our body's signals of hunger and fullness. Focus and productivity. Bringing mindfulness into work or school reduces stress and enhances performance. Concentrating on one task at a time, like painting one section of a picture before moving on, leads to better outcomes and a more relaxed state of mind. Moments of quiet. Integrate brief moments of quiet into your day. A few minutes of deep breathing or quiet contemplation refresh the mind, serving as rejuvenating pauses amidst daily activities. Self-kindness. Being kind to ourselves is crucial in mindful living. Practice self-compassion by speaking to yourself with kindness and understanding, just as you would to a close friend facing challenges. Embracing the journey. Mindful living is a continual journey rather than a destination. Some days will be easier than others, and that's okay. Each day presents new opportunities to practice mindfulness and discover its benefits. Enriching daily life. By choosing to live mindfully, we enrich our daily experiences. We discover beauty in the ordinary, feel more connected to the world around us, and build stronger relationships. Mindfulness enhances our ability to find joy in simple pleasures and equips us to navigate challenges with greater resilience. Living mindfully brightens our perspective on life making each moment more vivid and meaningful. It's a gentle approach to living that not only enhances our own well-being, but also has the potential to uplift those around us. Embrace mindfulness as a pathway to greater happiness and fulfillment in your daily life. And if you find these ideas resonating with you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Artist at Living channel for more insights on mindful living and personal growth. Ninth, embracing change and impermanence. Life is a constant flow of change, much like the shifting seasons where trees shed old leaves only to sprout new ones. Understanding and embracing this impermanence can lead to greater happiness and inner peace. Let's explore how accepting change enriches our lives. Learning from nature. Observing nature teaches us that change is natural and necessary. Trees and flowers bloom, wither and bloom again, showing us the beauty in transitions. When we realize nothing lasts forever, we learn to appreciate each moment fully. Cherishing moments. Acknowledging the transient nature of life encourages us to cherish every experience. Like savoring a favorite ice cream before it melts, 
Embracing impermanence heightens our gratitude for the good times and deepens our sense of fulfillment. Embracing uncertainty. Accepting change means being comfortable with uncertainty, akin to embarking on a spontaneous journey without a map. While unsettling, uncertainty also brings excitement and opportunities for growth, nudging us to explore new paths and embrace unforeseen adventures. Letting go. Learning to let go of the past, be it possessions, relationships or outdated beliefs, creates space for new experiences aligned with our present selves. It's akin to decluttering our lives to make room for fresh opportunities and discoveries. Growth through challenges. Navigating change presents challenges that spur personal growth. Much like a challenging game that tests and strengthens skills, each life transition teaches resilience, adaptability and self-discovery. Cultivating flexibility. Flexibility is key to navigating life's twists and turns gracefully. Being adaptable, like a skilled dancer moving effortlessly to different rhythms, reduces stress and enhances our ability to embrace change with openness and ease. Support system. Having a supportive network, friends, family or mentors, provides invaluable encouragement during transitions. Knowing we're not alone inspires courage, resilience and the confidence to face new chapters in life. Living fully. By embracing impermanence, we learn to live more authentically, love more deeply and appreciate life's fleeting moments. It's about finding joy in the present, letting go gracefully and welcoming new beginnings with open arms. This mindset invites happiness and fulfillment into our lives, making every moment a celebration of life's beautiful, ever-changing dance. Embrace change as a natural part of life and discover the freedom and joy that come with living in harmony with its rhythms. Embrace the journey, savor each experience and find peace in the knowledge that change is an essential part of life's grand adventure. Tenth, the journey of self-discovery and enlightenment. Embarking on a journey of self-discovery is akin to setting sail on a grand adventure, where each step brings us closer to understanding ourselves, finding happiness and embracing personal growth. Here's how to make this journey both enriching and fulfilling. Cultivating Curiosity Curiosity serves as our compass, guiding us to explore what brings us joy, where our strengths lie and what truly matters in our lives. It sparks the quest for self-understanding and motivates us to uncover new dimensions of ourselves. Listening to our hearts Amidst life's busyness, taking moments to check in with ourselves asking how we feel and what we genuinely desire, helps align our choices with our innermost aspirations. This self-reflection empowers us to navigate our journey authentically. Lifelong learning. Engaging in continuous learning, be it from books, people or experiences, equips us with diverse perspectives and skills. These insights enrich our understanding of the world, challenge our beliefs, and foster personal evolution. Embracing honesty. Being honest with ourselves means confronting our realities without pretense. This honesty, though sometimes challenging, liberates us to assess where we stand and chart a course toward personal fulfillment and growth. Practicing kindness. Kindness toward ourselves and others fosters connection and compassion on our journey. It reminds us that everyone is navigating their unique path, encouraging empathy and mutual support. Living with purpose. By embracing the journey of self-discovery, we unearth the essence of who we are and discover the beauty in life's myriad experiences. It's about saying yes to our authentic selves, embracing change and finding profound meaning in every step of this transformative voyage. This adventure of self-discovery invites us to delve deep, live with intention and celebrate the richness of being uniquely ourselves, 
a journey that unfolds with boundless possibilities and the true magic of authenticity. In conclusion, throughout our journey together, we've discovered invaluable insights that illuminate the path to a brighter, more fulfilling life. From serene mornings to embracing change, each lesson has enriched our understanding of happiness and personal growth. Embracing Quiet Mornings We've learned the calming power of quiet mornings, moments when we connect with our inner selves, find clarity, and prepare ourselves for the day ahead. In these tranquil hours, we've discovered how peace nurtures our minds and spirits, fostering resilience and readiness. Kindness and Gratitude Central to our journey is the practice of kindness, both towards ourselves and others. By nurturing empathy and compassion, we've cultivated deeper connections and spread positivity in our communities. Gratitude has been our beacon, guiding us to appreciate life's blessings and find joy in everyday moments. Navigating challenges and change challenges have proven to be stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks. They've taught us resilience, unveiling our inner strength and fortitude. Embracing change has opened doors to new adventures, reminding us that each transformation brings opportunities for growth and discovery. Continuous learning and self-discovery. Our journey has been marked by curiosity and self-reflection. We've embraced lifelong learning, expanding our horizons through experiences, knowledge and personal insights. This ongoing exploration of ourselves has revealed layers of identity and purpose, guiding us toward authenticity and fulfillment. Moving forward with hope. As we conclude this journey, we recognize that it's not a destination, but a continuous evolution. Every day offers new chances to make a difference, to find happiness in the small things, and to sow seeds of kindness wherever we go. Together, we stride forward, inspired by the pursuit of happiness and enriched by the wisdom gained along the way. Stay connected. Thank you for joining me on this journey towards inner peace. Remember, these quiet moments are not just a pause in the day, but opportunities to discover something beautiful within ourselves. Let's continue to explore, to ask questions, and to care for ourselves and others. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video to spread the peace and joy with others. Stay tuned for more insightful content on living mindfully and finding happiness every day. Until next time, Namaste from Artist at Living.